Hey, it's John and Mike, BrewDashShoots.com, and we have a piece of equipment from the Play-Doh guys. This is the uh, keg management system. A while back, we had the uh, prototype, which was laser printed and put together. It looks like they they have like this seam here. They definitely like glued that back together. Show that camera. But we have now the official rollout of the Play-Doh keg management system, and we're going to unbox it right here, live on camera to be watched at your leisure on YouTube. Nope, oh, that was a mistake. Something fell down. Uh -oh. I don't know, we'll figure that out. But uh, this is the difference. So you have um, certainly a, a nice smooth uh, exterior and such and some kind of sticker. And then on the bottom here, you have, um, it's almost like they have a some rubber. Feet. Better yeah, looking feet. better yeah. looking feet on the bottom here. So the whole process of this particular device is that it uh, gets placed at the bottom of your kegerator and then your keg sits on top of it and it says it can handle any size homebrew keg that you have and then basically it, it, it uh, captures the weight and as the uh, beer gets poured the weight goes down and therefore it can track how much you have in the keg and how much and pours. And this taps into uh, your Wi-Fi to yep. an app on your phone, just yes. like... Uh... And as the box says, you can share that with your friends. So when the beer is running low, your friends know that they have to come over cool. and The feet are like a little bit rubberized. Yeah. So it doesn't slide around. That's cool. That's very cool. Yeah, um, show that camera too. Hey, I think I just saw myself through yeah, the hole. There you go. Um, um, what's, what's interesting to me is how... I don't know if this was a design change at some point, but... I find it interesting that the top of this is just all flat, mm -hmm. whereas the prototype had these like Brooms. ribs, which I thought maybe was to like sort of help hold the keg on it. Versus this, um, you know, I mean, I guess you're not bumping your stuff around too much, uh, yeah. but uh, but that's an, just maybe that's an interesting design change after uh, the prototype. Maybe so, yeah, that's, think, the, that's why you make prototypes. And this this allows for a larger keg if necessary. I think this mm. one was definitely made for yeah. your corny keg. Mm -hmm. um, comes with this swell uh, cord, which then you plug into a USB. Yeah, because it has to be a, powered. It it's does have to be a powered. That is true. Yeah. Oh, but it has a different uh, input there. It seems to be right it's there. recessed below, so the keg can still sit yep. on top of it. Nice. So that said, I can't wait to try this one out. I uh, saw somebody on a Facebook group saying that there was some uh, phantom pours being recorded. Uh -huh. And I think it's because sometimes, like, if you don't have a flat yeah. enough surface, yeah. if it's, like, a little uneven, it'll pick up a, a wobble or two. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like maybe when the uh, compressor kicks in. <laughs> Probably. So, yeah. Especially <laughs> if you're using like junky old fridges like most of us are, right? Like that one, yeah. Yep. That's exactly right. So then it was like, okay, well, what you need to do is get yourself a, a cutting board from Walmart and I'll give you a flat enough service so that these things will, you know, pretty much adhere to it. Like, yep. like just have like enough friction that it'll hold it in yep. place. And uh, that should take care of the phantom pores. Yeah. I like the length of this length of the cord. That's yep. good, you know, and it's and it's flat like a linguini. Yep. So you can so you can slip it out the door without yep. the seal being an issue. That's right. Uh, cool. Cool. Um, yeah, because you're gonna have to get that thing all the way to a plug or something, or have something right in front of your fridge. That's right. That's cool. And and if I remember when we talked about the prototype, um, they can both be run out of the same app. It's like different pages in the app, right? That's right. So if you have the um, airlock. Same app as for the uh, keg management mm -hmm. system. And there's like a little, uh, you can do a, uh, a, it was a quick mm -hmm. code to like see the user, the user manual, check it out. And I imagine if you had like six of these, they could all get different names in the app, like one through six, or if you're more clever than that, <laughs> you can typically have yes. multiple kegs. Oh yeah, brown ale, hoppy blonde, yeah. Uh, kind of Pilsner. That's like sort of a beer I would make. Kind of yeah, Pilsner. Kind of Pilsner. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, man. So yeah, that's the uh, latest and greatest from Plato. I, I got this through their Kickstarter program. This is, uh, I bought, I think even talked about it, like um, when we were going through with the prototype that um, to get that, um, I liked using the prototype so much that you know, I wanted to buy the actual um, 
fully proofed out model of it. That's yeah, awesome. Should be fun. It's cool. I love these guys' products. I think it's cool. Yeah. And uh, it's cool to be able to be at work and you pick out your phone and go, oh, look, my beer's fermenting. Oh, and someone's drinking my other beer. Yes. So. <laughs> I, I hope someone, <laughs> this burglar in my house is <laughs> drinking my beer. Yeah. So anyway, thanks for the guys at Play-Doh. Uh, we'll uh, maybe do a snapshot of... Um, of our uh, the uh, app at some point in the near future. Yep. But uh, this should be fun. Anyway, for John and Mike, brewdashdudes.com, we're always into home brewing equipment. So if you are a purveyor of home brewing equipment and like us to check it out, wink, wink, you know how to get in touch with us, brew-dudes.com, and check out our contact page. For John and Mike, brewdashdudes.com, brew on. Cheers. <laughs>